stopping in. Today's video is going to be a little crochet with me. Um, I am in the middle of a project where I'm taking all my little cakes of sorts that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby and Walmart and I am just making rounds and they are kind of pin bingo rounds. There's no rhyme or reason to my stitches. I'm just using each one and making a complete round with it and then I am going to connect those rounds all together. So today I thought I'd just uh, drag you along with me and we'd do a little crochet video. This is one of the bamboo uh, crochet hooks that I got in that set. I am actually really loving them. They're extremely lightweight, smooth, and I love the way the hooks are made that they grab the yarn and keep it where it's supposed to be. Well, what I've been doing is just three chains and just do a bunch of double crochets until I fill up the circle and get my tail hidden. And I do as for the power towels that you're hearing, someone's enjoying this uh, Sunday and working outside. Doing a double crochet to get this circle started with a little. Oh my. They building out there. Hmm. And like I said, I'm not really counting. I'm just kind of doing all my rounds. I've just been kind of free flow and whatever they turn out to be. I am having so much fun working with these cakes, if you will. I like the variety. I like when the colors change. It's not as monotonous as working with a solid color can get. Alright, we're almost there. As you can see, my little tail is now no longer visible. Alright, so we have come around. I think we are at a place where we can join. Alrighty, from there, I just have to decide how I want to proceed. Whether I want to do single chains or single crochet all the way around, or if I want to continue with the double crochet for a bit. And in this case, I think we're going to single crochet here a little bit. And I am actually going to go into and between each double crochet. Mm. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then somewhere along the line in the next row, I'll have to do a... Um, a double in one of the balloons so that I can get my growing stitches. And now we've come full circle. either to the single loop through the beginning stitch and pull it through, or you can just continue on in your round. Um, 
it's just up to you whether you want each one to end and then start the second row or if you just want it to go in a continual spiral motion. Alrighty, I will at this point now go through the tops of the single crochet that I did and every other one right now I am going to add two so that we can get our growing on. And I've never used stitch markers, but I just recently um, got some crochet hooks that keep stitch markers and actually tried them for the first time. And uh, they do come in it. One. going to work it in a spiral so that we don't keep having uh, a, uh, a mark demarcation of where we keep starting our circles. So now I'm just going to keep on going and we'll figure out what stitch I'm going to do next. Alrighty, I'm moving right along with this one here. I think we're going to continue going around one more time with a single stitch. I've, um, on this particular round, we are going underneath both the loops. Okay, and we're just going to single stitch all the way around here. We did our growing stitches in the last row, so we're just going to go around in this row and uh, advance from there. And then the next row, we will be adding stitches again. So let's just take this one all the way around. This is a round that I've already been working on. With this particular yarn, it's kind of a mess right now, but this is uh, just a sample of the rounds that I've been working with. And this, you may not be able to see it, but this is the stitch that I am trying to incorporate in each round so that I do have a little bit of a theme going in them. Alright, we're just going to continue on with our crocheting here. Excuse me while I move you around a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, this one I started out with a double crochet. Ended up with just a bunch of singles. And then when the color changed, I did a double crochet, a single, and then I did my little um, stitch that I just kind of off the cuff came up with. I'm sure there's a name for it. This was just something I thought of trying and it worked. So we're just going to continue on. I'll 